I've written notes about how to generate pulse width modulation from two PIC chips, the 4620 and the 46K22, using the Hamstack platforms from Sierra Radio Systems, including their trainer board. I've got 40 plus examples of code of how to get PWM from these two chips. Here, it's very easy to get this 50% uh, uh, duty cycle from either chip, very little code. Here's maximum uh, duty cycle, what well, one bit below 100%, and here's the opposite, those two little blips of on time. It's a single bit on duty cycle. Here, the lower trace is using the least two significant bits, counting it for the duty cycle, increasing the duty cycle, whereas the upper trace is not. 0, 1, 2, 3. Here the duty cycle is being varied through 256 different states. Here the encoder on the trainer board is being used to crank the duty cycle up and down and, and also the brightness and dimness of that LED. So you can see the duty cycle on the LCD. Here's uh, 64 different periods but maintaining a 50% duty cycle. Here's an 188 nanosecond pulse uh, with the slew rate limiting on by default when the chip powers up here. One bit change tur turns the slew rate limiting off. Here's the uh, the 4620 can generate one period and two duty cycles as shown here. The 46K22 has uh, five CCPs and can generate three periods and five different duty cycles simultaneously. There's two periods and two duty cycles. Here's a feature in the K22 called steering where you can send a, a signal to four different outputs. Uh, choose any combination of those four outputs. Here's a, a thing called half bridge where two outputs have a complementary signal coming out of them. Here's that same uh, half bridge. The status LED is being ramped up and down there and the other LED, the LED 4 on the trainer board. Here this, the uh, pulse width modulation is being generated and, and how what, what form of it by the encoder. There's about four or five different speeds in either direction. The encoder is controlling the PWM to the servo. Here's a Here's a mode called um, full bridge. Notice that blue LED is full on and then ramping down. Now the status LED will ramp up to full. The other two LEDs are either on or off. This is full bridge direction change for outputs being driven. Here's the LCD being driven by the K22 clocked at 64 megahertz. It definitely required uh, special handling of the special function registers, the SFRs. You have to do that. My notes talk about this. Pick PWM.